I'm Dump Truck DS. Welcome back to Mapping for Quake with Trench Broom. This is a video I've wanted to do for so long, and now I'm finally getting around to it. I want to thank Mucker and Bal for inspiring this video with their next level trench broom skills. Thank you guys. This time I have two undocumented features in Trench Broom that you, they're gonna blow your mind. There's a third feature that is in the manual, but I don't think a lot of people remember it or realize it, I certainly don't. So what this tip uses is CSG, and I haven't done a tutorial on CSG, it's on the to-do list, but it's, I don't wanna say it's an advanced feature, but it's a feature that, that's kind of maligned and misunderstood, <laughs> and, uh, CSG operations are outside the scope of this tutorial. But I do wanna show you one tip that has to do with that. So there's a way that you can merge brushes together with CSG, but you can also merge their faces. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight these two faces. I'm shift control left clicking on these faces and I just want them to merge together. So I'm gonna hit control J or you can also go to CSG convex merge. And what that does is it bridges those two faces with a brush between them. So you can kind of take this to extremes and make some really interesting shapes really quickly without having to mess around too much with the brushes. Um, that's kind of weird looking, but whatever. Uh, so for example, let's see, we'll do this, merge these guys. Got to hide that guy for a second. And we'll merge these guys. It was easy to make a little V there, but as you can see here, it made it kind of a weird little uh, brush. And in just a second, I'm gonna show you how to clean that up very quickly and easily. So this tip is not in the manual as far as I know. I looked and looked and I think it's undocumented. So, but when you see this, if you haven't used it, it's gonna blow your mind. So what I wanna do is I wanna have some trim on the top of these brushes here. So I'm gonna select all these guys so just ignore the sloppy brushwork here for a minute. Uh, but what I want to show you is if you hold shift and control down, these highlight, and then you drag up, and now I've got another brush from the shape of the other, you know, from the shape of the face of the other brush that I've just created. And I just want to make some trim there, and voila, there is my trim. Now just one little warning. If you keep dragging things out, they'll take the, the shape of the brush, not just the face. So here's another example of, uh, you know, I've got this wall here and I just want to have some trim on the ground. I'll just do it on both sides. So I'll go up uh, eight units. Oh, let's go 16. Holding down shift and control, drag that down. And now I've got a brush. And now I've got trim. And there's a lot of other uses for this extrude tool that I just can't think of right now. It's early and I'm still having my first cup of coffee. But there you go, this one's, I love this one. This next tip is in the manual uh, and it's called matching clip plane. So in clip mode, when you, I'm gonna highlight this brush and I'm gonna make a, a clip here. I'm gonna hit C and I don't wanna delete everything, but I just wanna show this, this plane right here is called the clipping plane. I was taking a look at the original map source for uh, Deathmatch 1, and what I found was this little ugly brush that was kind of, uh, had a little edge on there sticking out. So it's easy to fix. I'm gonna drag out this face into the surrounding geometry. With this next tip, you can use a face of a brush as a clipping plane. So I'm gonna double click, I'm in the clip mode by hitting C, and I'm gonna double click that, and that becomes the clipping plane. Now all I have to do is um, toggle the sides, control enter, and hit enter and that takes care of that errant brush there using that face and the same things over here have some nasty brush work here so i'll just double click the the face of this brush and it's already this the clipping side is already set so i'm gonna hit enter and it's gone and there's also some nasty brush work here oops some nasty brush work right here so i'm going to clip that away this is one of those features that i always forget about but it is really helpful. Don't forget to join the Quake Mapping Discord. You'll find the link below. That's it for this episode. Thanks for hanging in there. We'll see you in the next video.